Grab some popcorn and get comfortable, because these movies are kicking in that closet door. We all love movies, especially the queer ones. We are blessed to live in a time and age where there are more queer films than ever before. A lot has changed since the first lesbian theme movie was released in 1931, Girls in Uniform. Und fort muss aus dem Stift und dass sie hier bleiben und dass sie hier jeden Abend fremde Kinder küssen. Na, du hast aber Sorgen. Ich hab sie doch so furchtbar lieb. Und sie sind, sind immer so weit weg. Nie darf man ihr Zimmer betreten und mit ihnen reden und nie ihre Hände nehmen. Na, Kind, nur nimm dich mal ein bisschen zusammen. The truth is, there are more lesbian and queer movies made every year. There is an increasing amount of female queer directors creating the films we deserve. It is better and more diverse. Storylines where being a lesbian is not the only story in the film. The gardener did not even introduce herself to the new au pair. She barely acknowledged her at all. Simply treated her as if she'd always been there. On a scale of zero to American, how would you rate her? American. <laughs> Poppins. Your day off. I promise, I don't need you to be my date to Owen's mum's funeral. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, can you help me get this thing off? Blimey. Poppins, you flirt. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. Sure, the lesbian romance movies are adorable, but we need more. We need thrillers, horrors, action films with Charlie's Theron and sci-fi films. History can be rewritten through cinema and we deserve to have it all. Welcome to Lesbian Mojo and today we're counting down our picks of the top 10 lesbian movies you might have missed in 2018. Be sure to stay until the end so I can happily show you where you can find and watch some of these films online. Number 10. Bex. Life is bittersweet. Sometimes it takes you way high on the top and suddenly, without any warning, it crashes you down. After catching her girlfriend, Lucy, cheating on her, she moves back to her hometown. I quit my job and I drove all the way across the country just because she wanted to be on a stupid singing competition. I never trusted her, honey. Too much eyeliner means she's hiding something, obviously. I am single and I'm broke and I'm back home living with my mom. Oh, no. Why don't you play here? Okay. It tells the story of a musician who moves home after a breakup, where love is the center role in the film, portrayed as realistic as ever. Number 9. The Ring Thing Not everyone believes in the institution of marriage, and that's okay. But what happens when a lesbian couple who is desperately in love with each other have different views about marriage? Since we just met, I don't mm -hmm. think this proposal is great. <laughs> I was ready to say yes. Yeah, you were. I was. <laughs> Are you? I don't know. <sighs> the film is a combining documentary with interviews from real people, alongside a fictional story you can help but become invested in. Number 8. Lizzie. After a lifetime of sadness and loneliness, Lizzie finds a similar spirit in her housemate, Bridget where their secret intimacy sparks an unthinkable act. The film explores the days leading up to the brutal crimes in the dark tale of repression and describes the relationship that Lizzie may and may not had in real life with her housemate. What is it you want? I want us to try. You're dreaming. You just dream. You don't see it, he can't see it. See what? We live in this world and not another. This one right here. Number seven, Les Bomb. The film tells the story of a closet young woman going home with her female friend for Thanksgiving to introduce her as a girlfriend. And before you think not another coming out movie, rest assured that this one will make you laugh out loud. What are you doing? Haley and I are in a relationship. 
Wait, what? Knew it. She's pretty, the little girl. You're a lesbian. A lesbian or a Krishna. Number six, tell it to the base. The film tells the beautiful story of a small town doctor who falls in love with one of her patients in the 1950 era in Scotland. Spoiler alert, this is a lesbian happy ending book that sadly was changed in the film version. But without considering the ending, the film is beautiful and acted with such a tenderness that it's impossible not to fall for it. We only wonder why the girl is not allowed to get the girl in the end. If you made it this far in the list, could you please consider giving this video a thumbs up? Thank you. Number 5. Rafiki Good Kenyan girls grow up to become good Kenyan wives. But Kenna and Ziki long for more. Despite the dispute between their families, the girls resist and remain more than close friends. When love blossoms between Kenna and Ziki, the two girls will be forced to choose between their happiness and safety in an homophobic and conservative society. What? I love you. So then how come you don't tell me? Careful, Ziki. I've not even touched you. Number four, the miseducation of Cameron Post. Cameron is the typical high school girl that after being caught with another girl is quickly sent off to a conversion therapy camp that treats teenagers with the same sex attraction. Yeah, but what about emotional abuse? Are you saying you're being emotionally abused by the staff here? How is programming people to hate themselves not emotional abuse? Subjected to unusual discipline and suspicious de-gaying methods, this environment also provides Cameron with an unlikely gay community. For the very first time in her life, she's able to connect with other people like her. You don't really seem like the kind of person that'd be here. Why? Because I'm such a dick magnet? No, just... I didn't have a choice, did you? Number three, Anna and Victoria. The film tells a story of two young musicians with contrary opinions on life and romance, paired up to produce a record that ultimately will alter the course of their lives forever. I think I forgot to block you on the snap. E eu esqueci que o Snapchat existia. Pensei que você tinha esquecido que eu existia. Até parece que eu ia me esquecer de ti. Até hoje eu escovo o dente com a escova que a gente comprou junta. Tu lembra? Porque tu falava que a outra machucava minha gengiva. Aí toda vez que eu vou escovar o dente eu lembro de ti. Meus dentes estão branquinhos, ó. Eu ainda uso o CPF no mercado pra ter desconto. <risos> Number two, Colette. After moving to Paris, author Colette agrees to ghostwrite a semi-autobiographical novel for her husband, sparkling a bestseller and a cultural sensation. The film traces the evolution of her sexual awakening from casually flirting with another woman to falling head over heels in love with Missy. But seriously, you've done something important. You've invented a type. Willie has, you know. 
I mean, you have. All those young girls between girlhood and womanhood, you've given them a voice. You should own up to it. Somebody told you. I didn't need to be told. Meeting you is enough. The film describes Colette's fight over her creative ownership, gender roles, fashion and sexual expression. Impressive lesbian movies don't get made as often as we would like. And when they do, they barely get the recognition they deserve. So before I show you our number one, let's take a moment to remember Vita and Virginia. I promised Leonard I'd have you in bed by 11. And I always try to keep my promises. I can't even think of sleeping. I have a million things. Not so much to say as to sink into you. Number one, the favorite. The most fascinating thing about this film is how it slides open three queer women and lets their messy humanity bleed all over you. Dearest queen, you are mad, giving me a palace. It is a monstrous extravagance, Mrs. Molly, we are at war. We won. Oh, it is not over, we must continue. Oh. Oh, I did not know that. In a way that constantly refuses to allow you to love or hate any of them. You are too sensitive. And you are too mean and uncaring some days. Some days I'm quite lovely, though. Let's think on them. And a woman who presents sweetness. Your hair is so lustrous. It's something people in court comment on. One puts her down. You look like a badger. Oh. Are you going to cry? The other flatters her. You're so beautiful. Stop it. I, you mock me. I do not. If I were a man, I would ravish you. Do you agree with this list? For more sapic and queen inclusive content, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to Lesbian Mojo and ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos. I know how to set a bear trap out. How to cl clean a musket, but I don't know how to place my lips on yours. What to do with my hands. Finally, before I go, let me remind you that labels are hard, in real life and in fiction. That language isn't a science and it is constantly evolving and that everyone comes to the label table with different experience. Therefore, do not let anyone to silence your voice. Carry me back to that moment in time when the colors and fragments were beautifully bright. How I long for you. How I long for you. Once was a season of infinite light Where the distance from heaven was not far behind I was close to you I was close to you